What's up everybody? Welcome to the second ever Cars and Cameras special where we are riding Honda mini bikes 500 miles one way from the Cars and Cameras headquarters here in North Carolina up to a abandoned mountain estate that Ike actually just inherited. So uh, we're going to be stopping off at a bunch of points of interest along the way. Martinsville Speedway, uh, stopping off in one of my favorite cities, Roanoke, Virginia, Blue Ridge Parkway, traveling through the mountains on 50-year-old mini bikes. Also, we can go up to Ike's place to fix it up uh, because, well, it, it got vandalized pretty badly a year and a half ago, and uh, we're just going to be boarding up the windows and getting it ready for winter. So we have a couple of other friends showing up tomorrow morning uh, for cameraman and to drive our backup vehicle. So in the meantime, we have a couple of items to do to the bikes to get them ready for the road trip. Mainly oil changes. Mainly oil changes and extended fuel range because that's a huge problem on these bikes. Because our first special episode went over so well, the producers gave us a higher budget so we were able to hire uh, a Hollywood actor. Owen Wilson wow, to join us as one of the hosts on this special episode. So each of the three Honda Trail 70s we're taking on this road trip need a little bit of TLC before we take off tomorrow morning at 7.30. So Charles is changing the oil and this is the bike he's going to be riding. Uh, it's a 140cc 4-speed manual. It's got a top speed of about 68 miles an hour. It's going to need all that power for the elevation and the uh, just the twisties of the mountains of West Virginia and Virginia. So changing the oil, he's going to adjust the clutch cable. This one is pretty much ready to go. This here is Ike's bike. It's got a 125 on it, which I think is going to struggle in the mountains. Um, and it doesn't need a whole lot. It needs a luggage rack on it with a spare fuel tank that we're going to be rigging up. This is the wild card of the group. It's got a 190 on it. It's got a whole lot of power. I just put it together. The whole setup only has about 100 miles on it so far. So if we're going to have a breakdown, it's probably going to be this bike. And because it's all kind of funky parts I used to put it together, finding spare parts in the middle of the wilderness of West Virginia is going to be difficult. So this one also needs a spare fuel tank, which we're going to be working on today, uh, an oil change, and a few other here or there items. So let's get to it. thousand miles bro it's all right it'll make it starting off strong glad i'm not riding that bike <laughs> so my man charles here just got his motorcycle permit yesterday and already laid the bike down already laid the bike down but that's all right it was avoiding from hitting you because you had laid you, you <laughs> laid down. Something down. Down. no they don't need to know that <laughs> but it was an excellent time Looks like Ike's bike is sweating horsepower. It's got an oil leak. Charles's bike is exhaling horsepower. Burn I'm just oil. hoping this, yeah, burning oil. It, it'll be fine. It's gonna right, be a guys. long trip. It's gonna be a great week. has been changed on all the bikes now we're starting to work on accessory fuel tanks in addition to our stops along the trip we thought we would add in some challenges for some added flair so at some point we're gonna be doing a drag race at some point we're gonna be doing a fuel mileage test and we also need to set up the cars and cameras Grand Prix West Virginia edition which we're gonna be doing uh, out at Ike's place once we get there right now I think my I can get on two tanks, I can get maybe 45 miles, maybe 50 miles. We really want to be able to cruise for longer than that because we are doing such great distance this time around. So we added our luggage racks and we're just trying to choose what would be the best fuel tanks to add. I like the look of the white one. It's from a GX390 Honda. My rack is crooked. You know, that's pretty common actually. Really? <laughs> So we have the GX390 tank, which is gonna go on the back of mine. 
biggest engine gets the biggest tank. Yeah, it makes sense. I really wanted to use the ATC 110 tank, but it just, there's no good place to mount it. And it's really hanging off the back. So let's come up with some tabs. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and mount it up. Yeah. Tank's looking great, bud. Thank you. The bracket, not so much. But well, we're no hit. one's got to look at the bracket. No. <laughs> Ike's bike is done. Well, not quite. I got to go fuel yeah, we just need to go to the store and grab some fuel line. So the factory fuel tank is two liters. It gets this 125, 37 miles. This is just under one gallon. So, I'll so we're say looking 70 at miles. yeah, so we're saying a hundred miles. Just over a hundred miles. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Dang. Not bad. Not bad at all. My Harley only gets 100 miles. To the tank? To the tank. That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> Ike's bike is totally ready to go. We just need to finish running some fuel line on the other bikes and we should have a cruising range of about 100 miles per bike, which is pretty darn good for some Honda 70s. Uh, so we need to uh, have some dinner, pack everything up in the truck and trailer and get ready to hit the road at seven o'clock tomorrow morning. It's supposed to be 40 degrees. It's gonna be a nice, uh, crisp morning ride. We're gonna head to the Martinsville Speedway in Martinsville, Virginia. Then we're headed to one of my favorite towns of Roanoke, Virginia. It's got the Blue Ridge Parkway. It has the Roanoke Star, which is awesome. You guys are gonna get to see it. And uh, yeah, so we will see you guys tomorrow morning for the beginning of our 500 mile road trip. Honestly, I don't know how many miles it's gonna be, but probably more than 500. So it's like nine o'clock at night and Ike has rigged up the most awesome. It's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. No, it's not. So I got- Put my name on it. <laughs> okay, I did it, no. I have three fuel tanks on this Honda 190 Trail 70. And in order to make that work, we need two three-way petcocks. So you wrote a little, oh, a W, and that means actually that's a butt oh it's a butt okay yeah. <laughs> a butt. <laughs> that, means, that means white fuel tank in the back yeah and basically I, so there are six possible ways for me to switch this now yeah so you have a very confusing <laughs> you have now, a six-way valve if you had it down pat before yeah you should be good with the exception of that one extra all you have to do you, you run these tanks out like usual. Yeah. And you put this switch into the off position. Okay. When you put that on the off position, you switch this valve from this position. Okay. To, to, to the butt. To the butt. Okay. <laughs> That's full flow. That's full flow. That is the butt tank. Okay, sweet. The truck and trailer is all loaded up and we're just doing finishing touches. I think Ike is balancing his rear wheel because ever since we got his setup together, his rear wheel bounces like a basketball at 55 miles an hour. How's it going? Pretty good, man. Uh, fortunately, uh, we put brand new bearings on 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 these wheels, hubs, like what, like a year ago or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. And uh, man, they, they are fantastic. And Charles is just hooking up his third gas tank with one of our stickers. <laughs> Hopefully it'll stick. Oh, it's not sticking. Oh, no. yeah. Are you gonna go? go? I'm gonna go ahead and replace the sprocket. You see how bad it is? Yeah, it's gnarly, man. Yeah. So we're headed out here in a minute, getting everybody framed up. The truck's all loaded up. We're all fueled up. We're headed to the Martinsville Speedway, where maybe if we ask nicely, they'll let us on the track. So we got about 55 miles to go. Whoever runs out of gas first, loses. You're the one leaking. Yeah. So Ike yeah. has decided to wear oh. chaps, I buttless chaps. By the end of this trip, you two guys are gonna wish that you have. You gotta do a spin for him at home, man, for the viewers at home. <laughs> Why is that necessary? <laughs> Just wear a jean. Hold on, hold on. 
All right, you boys ready? Yeah, dude. About 10 miles in, already made a pit stop because Charles has a big fuel leak. Not doing good. It's a great morning to, to be on the road. Wow, so we're gonna get these just, things fixed up. Is, is it? Did worse. you fix it? No, it didn't make it worse. It just, it's... So this is fuel tank number three. Yeah. I think okay. We just have to let it drip. Let it drip. Well, that's fine. We still got two fuel tanks. Yeah. So let's get back on the road. So what happened? He ran out of fuel on one of his uh, on one of his tanks, and uh, when he switched over, it didn't seem to do any good. But now he's uh, doing good. So we got about 20 miles to go before we get to the speedway. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think I think we can make it uh, as long as I'm as long as I'm on a tank. That's you know, as yeah. long as I'm on this tank. Okay, you're still drinking fuel. Yeah, it's it's out of this one. Okay, so we need a part store ideally then we do it. Okay. Because I've got I've got we should have plenty of hose. Yeah. Like the hose clamps, spare hose and all that in the truck. Oh. Alright, that's got a lot in it. How much it was supposed to hold originally? So, two liters, I have no idea, probably over a gallon. So we're about 15 miles from uh, Martinsville Speedway, making a pit stop for some Mickey D's. It's already starting to get a little bit hilly and Ice 125 is struggling, man. Like going down hills, he's got to do the full tug and get up the terminal velocity just to be going like 45 miles an hour by the top of the other hill. So we might need to look into that. Other than that, we're doing okay. We have seven fuel tanks between all of us, and we've all managed to run out of gas each, like, three times, so. Eight fuel tanks. Eight fuel tanks? Yeah, yeah. three tanks, three tanks, two oh, tanks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eight fuel tanks. All right, let's get some food, guys. Right. So, we just had some breakfast, and we're about 20 miles out from the Martinsville Speedway. Looking forward to checking it out. It's one of the most infamous short tracks in NASCAR. It's known for its wrecks, and its drama. I wonder so, if Ricky Bobby's ever ridden that track. I don't know. <laughs> Be nice to know. Let's get on the road, boys. Oh, well, there's the sign, fellas. It's right here, Ike. Oh, it's right, right here. Breaks, brother. Yeah. So we just made it to Martinsville and uh, my bike is falling apart on me. The steering, this top oh nut on the steering is completely like finger tight, finger loose. Yeah. So uh, I'm glad we stopped now. But we're here at the track. It looks awesome. It is huge in person. Yes. Can't wait to go uh, check out the track. It's a big track, even though it's known as a, a short course, one of the shortest courses in NASCAR still a really big track all the grandstands are awesome to see i just wish we could be here for testing or or for a race but uh, we're still gonna go scope it out walk around and give our bikes a once over change out some camera batteries 
and we're going to be on the way to one of my favorite cities, Roanoke, Virginia. Like there are what 30 cars on this track yep. each of them with 800 horsepower doing 150 miles an hour on something that's 50 feet wide they'll, they'll be lucky to go too wide around that turn yeah if not just one wide it's pretty cool and look, look at the way the wall is man like they've got what is this eight by eight steel and then yeah. a two foot cushion with foam yeah. oh that's cool yeah this is yeah that's meant to withstand the Heavy 100, impact. 100 mile an hour crash. <laughs> See, this is this is what happens. They go so fast, the tires come apart and chunk rubber everywhere. So this is yeah, this is a, a probably a Hoosier tire. I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Help me, Tom Cruise! Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming, Ricky! Being that we're at a NASCAR track here at Martinsville, it's only fitting that we start with our first challenge of this Cars and Cameras special. So why not a race? Not a fast race, but a slow race. Yes. So right. whoever can go from point A to point B as slow as possible without putting their feet on the ground wins. All right, it's time for the first ever Cars and Cameras slow race. What we're doing, starting here, going to the end of that cone, turning around and coming back. The last one here wins. First one here, or first one to put their feet down, buys lunch. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah man. man. Sweet. So we're gonna do this race, yeah. and we're off to Roanoke, Virginia, for some lunch, for some Blue Ridge Parkway riding, and some good times. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my poor clutch is going to get so toasted. No! Oh, feet are down. How are you going that slow? I didn't, I didn't got a bend it. Good? We got a truck? Yep. Alright, sending it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go. Oh my gosh, I almost stalled. Almost stalled it. Got a turn coming up. It's yeah. Hold on. Man, that is a big mountain. That ain't nothing yet, boy. I know. Well, you gotta think, man, I'm a flatlander.
So we've done 105 miles today and uh, we feel completely worn out. Charles especially. <laughs> they do, I'm fine. <laughs> it's the chaps, man. It's not my first the time chaps, on a motorcycle. <laughs> so, um, so just look at the itinerary and tomorrow to get from Roanoke to West Virginia where we're going. It's all through the mountains. It's gonna be a great ride. It's like 200 miles. It's 200 miles. Plus we're planning on doing an engine swap on the side of the road. Uh, so it's going to be an extra long day. Yeah. But it should be a pretty ride. Uh, we have some fun stuff planned for this afternoon too. So let's get to the Airbnb. All right. You going to be all right? Oh yeah, dude. I was just, just laid out. It felt good to lay in the sun. Don't mess with me, Ike. So we made it out to the Airbnb here in Salem, Virginia. Uh, our neighbors are awesome. They have a uh, 125 Honda three-wheeler, our kind of people. The bikes are doing good. We're just uh, getting a little bit of rest in, and uh, Charles is looking into why only one out of his three fuel tanks are working, because uh, we need to drive farther than 30 miles at a time tomorrow. We have over 200 miles to cover tomorrow, which we did about 120 today, and seemed like it took up most of the day. So he's gonna do that while we check over our bikes. Then we're gonna hop back on to go to downtown Roanoke for some cruising. We're gonna pick up some pizza. And uh, in downtown Roanoke, we're gonna have the second challenge of this Cars and Cameras special, which is how practical is a Honda Trail 70 as we pick up to-go pizza. Now, what I haven't told Ike, Ike's the one picking up the pizza, but what I haven't told him is that there's this place in downtown Rona called Benny's Pizza, and they make a no lie 30 inch pizza. So I was like, hey, do you think you could pick up the pizza? And he was like, yeah. He doesn't know it's gonna be 30 inches. So this is about to be hilarious. So we have this auxiliary tank. We're not gonna worry about this one because we put that one in at a, you know last night, but I got to figure out why I can only run on this tank, the, the stock tank. So we've got two fuel lines. I Honestly, we can't remember which one goes to which tank. <laughs> yeah, so going I'm going to disconnect one, turn it on, and watch the fuel level, see if it drops. I know it's wasteful of fuel, but we'll, we'll put something down on the ground. Don't worry. I've got fuel coming out of uh, this three-way, which it means it's coming out of this one. So whatever tank is draining faster. There you go. Somebody put the mega grip on that thing. There we go. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, that, this line is this back tank. Yes, it is. Okay. So, I still don't know why. All right, now, let's see. Charles got his fuel tank issue figured out, maybe. We're not sure yet. This is what the test drive is for. Yes. Uh, everything else on the bikes look good, so we're gonna head downtown, do some cruising, uh, pick up some pizza, and head for the Roanoke Star, which is this really gigantic lit up star that overlooks the entire downtown. It's on the Blue Ridge Parkway. It's gorgeous. So, Can't wait to see it. Man. Let's hit the road. <laughs> Are we sure it's not a kit car though? Uh oh. Oh, I that's don't... definitely a kit car. That's definitely a kit car. <laughs> Dude, that's a turbo. Hey, that's a turbo. <laughs> This is a, I'm guessing a Pontiac Fiero. Oh, it is a Fiero. Yes. 
I got this. Oh, you sure, man? Yeah, I got it. You want to take a look at that puppy? <laughs> 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 so you want to drive up to the uh, star, huh? Y'all, y'all trusting me on this? This is dinner, man. <laughs> All right. Good job, man. You made it. Ike, I have to hand it to you, man. I, I probably, probably would have put, put the pizza, pizza in the truck. truck. Let's go ahead and uh, cut them, fellas. All right, thank you. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the view, man. Thanks for bringing me, dude. I hear you. That's what it's all about, bud. Well, let me tell you, nothing gets more eyeballs than Ike rolling up with a three-foot-wide pizza box and buttless chaps to the road next door. <laughs> so we made it. The uh, sun's going down, the leaves are changing. It's gorgeous up here, and it should get even better as we go to West Virginia. So you guys want to have some dinner? Yeah. Yes. What size is this thing? Uh, I think it's a 28. It's a small. small. <laughs> the half pepperoni, half cheese. But man, <laughs> it's like as big as my face. <laughs> Dude, look at that. Wow. Yeah. Benny's Pizza. Dude, Denny came through. Benny. Oh, Ben, I am so sorry, <laughs> Denny. Man. I am so sorry. <laughs> I think I'm only gonna be able to eat one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, dinner was good. We uh, put the rest of the pizza in the truck, giving things a once over and gonna head back to the Airbnb. We will see you in the morning for our ride up into the Blue Ridge Mountains into West Virginia to check out Ike's Mountain Estate. Oh man, you can't even see the deer. Oh, you can see the eyes. Come on, Charlie. Good morning. It's a nice serene morning out here in Salem, Virginia. Just kind of getting moving. Charles is working on his bike. We're all kind of packing things up. We have over 200 miles to ride today from uh, here in the Roanoke area to uh, the hotel close to Ike's Place in West Virginia. So we did 120 miles yesterday and it felt like it took all day. So it's really important that we uh, we get on the road and we just knock out the miles. It's gonna be interesting to see what Ike's 125 bike does up those mountains, cause just up these little hills here, he was really struggling. So uh, we might have to pull over and see if we can pull something off uh, to get him a little bit more power. But uh, yeah, gonna have a gonna have a quick bite to eat and hit the road. Here on cars and cameras, we're gonna show you how to brush your teeth. Circular motion, right? Up and down. For at least two minutes. We highly recommend a soft brush. Our 
Are you guys ready to? Yeah. Okay. I got to get my key in my pocket. And these chaps are like those uh, chaps. Awesome. Man. Yeah, they're so <laughs> I was about to say, don't say nothing bad about them. <laughs> no. All right. Well, let's head for the mountains, boys. See you later, Grandma's house. Bye. Bye. It was fun. How'd you guys sleep? Uh, once, it, it took me a little bit to get to bed or like fall asleep, but once I did, I was out. I'm <laughs> How's everyone running this fine morning? Uh, mine feels great. Mine feels good. How about yours? Doing good, doing good. I mean, apart from all that smoke coming from your exhaust. Oh. Probably okay. should have checked my oil, though. Oh. It's all right. We only have 210 miles to do today. All right. We might uh, need to figure something out. Well, you know, it just so happens we have an extra engine in the vehicle. No, I thought we were going to try and find one. <laughs> yeah, you know, actually, I heard 140s grow on trees in West Virginia. Oh, yeah? So we might be able to uh, to make something work if we find the, uh, the 140 tree. Yeah, no, the 140 farm. All right, so we're going to be in search of the infamous 140 tree. Yeah, sounds good to me. We just made our first official fuel stop, other than uh, the this construction zone fuel stops. Already done 100 miles. Uh, roads have been just awesome. Uh, how is the 125 doing, man? Um, struggles going up the hills. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna run in and use the bathroom. This oh is a really God. cool gas station. Got a nice river. Wait, what's going on? Oh. <laughs> Maybe a minute. So what uh I've got a bad oil leak. So all of a sudden Ike has a bad oil leak. Yikes. We're at this awesome gas station. It's kinda in the middle of nowhere. Got a nice stream going on underneath it. 13 miles from the West Virginia line. So what are you thinking, man? You're just gonna fill it up and we can keep on moving? Yeah. Sounds good. While we're stopped off at this gas station, we're uh, just checking some oil. We noticed Ike had a pretty gnarly uh, oil leak. He's just gonna top it up right there. I'm checking mine. I think Charles is gonna check his. Otherwise, we're doing great. Grabbing some more ice for the cooler. We have 125 miles to go to the hotel. We've done about 85 or 90 so far and doing fine. Legs are jello as, you know, when I got off the bike, but doing all right so far. Take a picture? Yeah. All right, cool. Look at that. So we're at the top of this beautiful overlook, and uh, Ike's bike is really starting to feel it, I think. 32 to 35 miles per hour up them hills is uh, pretty uh, pretty bad. It's out of breath. Yeah. yeah. Mine's and down on power. Oil leak, yeah. too. Yeah, gnarly. The oil, oil leak is too. pretty gnarly. So I think we have a solid downhill for a while. So I, we should have a little bit of a break for the engines. Um, but yeah, gorgeous overlook, got a good nap in, let's hit it. All right.
we had to take a break and get us our, ourselves some lunch because we are starving. Uh, we've gone, I don't know how many miles we've gone. Have, have we gone like a, about 120 miles so far? About 120 miles. And uh, John, he's uh, taking himself a much needed nap on the back of the truck. Got Charles over here on the grill. Me, myself, I'm just chilling. Jim, he's the truck driver. And uh, am I allowed to say your name? Holden. I'm, I'm so okay. So, Holden, I already knew your name. I was asking if it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So, Holden is the camera guy. Thank you, Holden. Fortunately, our bikes are doing okay. Charles has got a horrible fuel leak. I got a horrible oil leak and way down on power because of 125. But it's being it's better than being on a completely barn fine bone stock Trail 7. Yeah. And uh, John's bike is doing just excellent. A lot nope. of vibrations. No problems though. No. That's that's great. You know, it's amazing that's maiden voyage is going to West Virginia. Better knock on wood, bud. We got plenty of it here. We stopped for fuel. We were on the road like five hours or something. Oh, Four hours. So we put on 200 miles. Today. We did like over 200 miles on these mini bikes today. <laughs> I am feeling it. So there's a restaurant right there. Hotel's right there. In the morning, it's gonna be another 15 minutes to Ike's place, where we have a whole new adventure. Right? That's right. Checking out the cabin. There's buried treasure there, right? Maybe. Sweet. And there's like a whole bunch of acreage. Maybe we can set up the cars and cameras West Virginia Grand Prix. Why didn't we bring a go kart? Oh. Yeah, we should have brought a go kart. Turn. Right. Good morning. We're all just getting moving out here in small town West Virginia. Charles and our friend Jim are down there getting breakfast ready. Uh, we're just going to get our things together and then it's a, about a 20 minute ride to Ike's Mountain Estate. So what what are we gonna find when we get there, man? I'm a little afraid to think about it, to tell you the truth. Yeah, so like a year and a half ago, last time Ike was there, some people had broken in and trashed the place, um, busted all the windows out, and uh, just destroyed light fixtures, furniture, all that stuff, and that was a year and a half ago. Um, so, we don't know what we're going to find when we get there. We have plywood, we have lumber, we have nails, we have hammers. Uh, we have equipment to, to fix things up, but hopefully there will be a structure worth saving once we get there. How's that back feeling, bud? Um, it hasn't been bothering me. Um, I just <laughs> didn't sleep great. We've done what, 50 miles, 60 miles so far? I have no idea. No one's checked their odometer. No one tripped their odometer. <laughs> uh, Should we do it now? Yeah, I'm better late than never, man. I think he just did it on the truck. 